actually got called to jury duty, but they released me early, and it's still um, early afternoon, so I was walking back towards the train station, and I spotted this park, so I figured I'd take a walk and take you guys with me just to have some time to commune in nature, so let's go. I've never been to this park before. I'm really curious to see just what's in it because the Bronx is known for its park. I'm not sure how far this one stretches or if it's fenced off, but I'm looking for some cool altar items. So if I come across anything, it's a pine cone. I can use some of those for my altar. It's pretty sunny out today. So this looks like the um, majority of the park. It looks pretty constructed. Very man-made so far. It's pretty regardless. is dying but I was just in the park and I left because it was pretty limited and I was like walking down here and wishing for a thrift shop that I could go to because I recently like went thrift shopping in Connecticut and I spotted this Target sign on the corner of a building down there over that way so I started walking and then I spotted the sign I swear to god wait let me see I'm gonna zoom in Thriftland <laughs> around the corner. I'm going to walk there and see what I find. If it is a thrift shop, it is like a sign from the gods. I'm gonna turn you guys off. Have to conserve my battery. Okay, so guys, look at this Thriftland. I can't even fucking. This is fucking amazing. Oh god, I was just hoping for a thrift shop and something told me to walk towards this big bullseye sign for um, Target and then I spotted a sign that said thrift land on it. I swear to God, I was just like thinking about how I many my friend was talking about going thrift shopping, the awesome thrift shopping I had in Connecticut and it's like, look where I was brought. I'm just gonna film a little bit like, what the hell? Okay, so I'm gonna go inside. Okay, so screw Target. I'm going to shop here. I just want to show you guys. Take you guys with me. We were fun.
in here but if you look closely you can find something that would be good for you two dollars hey guys um hopefully you can see me well i so I got home from the thrift shop and I just want to show you guys everything that I purchased there. There was a lot of junk in that thrift shop. So the thrift shops over here were in the Bronx anyway. The one I, was, I found, I mean I was grateful for it because I wanted some items for um, the winter solstice and just the winter season uh, that I didn't get to pick up in Connecticut. So I found some items there at that thrift shop. But it was so cluttered with junk, I just um, cut some of the video short and figured I'd show you the rest of it when I got home. And it was kind of loud in there. You can tell from um, the footage that you just saw. But let me spin you guys around so that you can see what I got. Okay, so... Okay, so... Let me get down here. I just finished washing everything off. And those are my two kitties. That's cotton and that's newette. So I just finished washing, wiping everything down with some water in a rack because stuff in there was really, really dusty. I had to wash my hands when I came home um, after touching everything. But let me go through. So everything you see right here, right now, it all added up to $35. So I'm going to go through them. I got a couple of items for uh, uh, Day of the Dead and a couple of items for Winter. So first we'll start with the Day of the Dead items. I got this candle. When I first thought I thought it was a little headstone, but it's actually a candle. And this was $2.99, so $3. And that's a little tombstone. Very detailed. I don't know if I should even burn it. <laughs> I guess I can always burn it and then order more. But they are adorable. We'll see how that goes if I end up burning them. Maybe just br I'll burn them for ritual. And then uh, they won't stay on too long. And then reorder them. Uh, if I can find them online. Then this is another one for $2.99. Look at the detail on that. 
Okay, so I got two of those. I'm just thinking uh, what I have on my altar right now. I actually am going to swing you guys around and show you what I did with my altar. But I'll have to come back, I guess, on Samhain and just do a little video so you guys can see it. And I plan to have um, my friends here with me um, because we're going to do ritual. So maybe before the ritual, I can give you the altar update. Uh, let's keep going. So this I also purchased. And it is a... Um, candle lantern. So the way that it works is you take it out like this, and you put the tea light there, and then you put it back in, and it'll cast shadows of spider spider webs. So I'm actually going to put that on my altar today, along with those um, candles that you just saw. Okay. I also, you guys saw a lot of these items in the video. I found this chalice for $1.99. Okay. It doesn't say if it's silver or what. But it, I think it's pewter because if you look inside, it's a bit messy in there. Um, but I, I'm going to clean this out. I am not going to drink out of this. It will be used for... Um, it will be used for libations. So, this is the salt, this um, chalice. I have, I have so many chalices right now. Um, I don't know what it is about chalices, but I am very attracted to them. So, I have to make sure I have to find a use for my chalices. Uh, I gave one away in a giveaway. Maybe I'll have another one to get rid of some more that I have. Okay, and I also, so I think that's it for the uh, items for the Day of the Dead. So, just in general, I found this. Ooh. Woo. I found this, which is a tea light kanzu holder. Awesome representation of Ra, of the god. And I believe there was no price on this, but I'm going to say it was 99 cents. I don't think he charged me anything under 99 cents. So that's that. I think this is really awesome. Find a place for that. Okay. So now on to the items that I found for uh, to represent winter, solstice. Um, I found this. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. Probably put a votive in there. Um, but I just thought it was a really pretty. It looks like a candle holder. Um, or use it to hold other items from the seasons, like branches and anything else that I find out in nature. But I think it would go well with the rest of my decor, and it was 99 cents. So, yeah. And I also found this, which is, it was $1.99, it is a pine cone candle holder. So that will be going on the altar. And oh, this is like one of my favorite pieces that I found. This was $3.99, and it is also a candle holder. Very pretty, very detailed. There are four Santas. And the top. So you take that off and put your tea light candle in there, and then put the hood back on. Can't wait to test that out, so that will be on the altar as well. Um, I also found this that I plan to put on the altar. Um, and it's the moon. And since, you know, around the winter time, that is a time when um, the energies are more introverted. 
and the moon being receptive in taking things inside, um, and and that energy being more dominant because the solar energy moves farther away. I figured, you know, to get a nice moon, this uh, representation. And I love the color of it. It's wide and like a nice baby blue on the bottom. And I also found this gingerbread house, which is, you know, very festive. And it's a candle. Again, not sure if I'm going to burn that. But it did be for a very short period of time. Okay, and I found this to hang above my altar. Gingerbread house 149. Gingerbread house candle. And I also found this. A bell. It says that it's Santa, but it's a bell. that it's a dinner bell, but I can use that for the rituals, of course. Uh, okay, a ceramic bell. And it was 99 cents. And lastly, I found this. And this is a lovely, looks like some kind of pouring device like uh, a pitcher, but I plan to use this for decoration and uh, put this on the altar along with some items inside of it, be they leaves or sticks or whatever else I gather from nature. And this was two dollars. So that is the end of my haul. Aside from that, I checked out their DVD station and got a copy of The Matrix for $2. <laughs> which was a steal of video because it's an awesome movie. Okay guys, that's the end of my haul. Um, let me just swivel you around really quickly and show you what I did with the altar. And obviously, I am going to make some changes because I have some new items to add for um, Dia de los Mortes, Day of the Dead. So, um... I will come back with another video um, before being referenced to a ritual and that. Maybe we can talk to you guys for a little bit. Well, let me show you what I did so far. Ooh. Get some light over here. Okay. So this is what it's come out. It's looking like. So far. Um, this is the cloth. That I had purchased from that thrift, rush, thrift shop in Connecticut. I added my candles, and um, I also purchased these little like leaf decorations. Um, so I updated with the decorations that I got, the candles. Um, here's where I put the brass candle holders there on the edge. So you have the goddess candles, red, white being like the moon, and the god candles, the red for the sun. And you have the muscles surrounding the god and goddess representations, a star and a set. And um, here's my spirit candle. Okay. And I've 
also included some items that I found outside. These were the pine cones that I um, showed you earlier in the video. And there are some leaves down there that I got from Connecticut um, while in the forest. Um, and my bell here. Okay. And... Yeah, I think that's pretty much... Oh, I put my chalice here. And I plan to use um, this chalice for offerings to my spirit and, you know, offerings in general. And this chalice for potions and divination work. So that is how I will use those two chalices. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Um... I'm going to come back and do another altar update. My besom is up there. I, I hung it like that for now. At one point, I, I wish to hang it um, horizontal, but for now it's vertical. But yeah, I want to come back with another update once I um, get it ready for Dia de las Muertes. And um, I plan to carve this candle, my spirit candle, and um, rub it down with some glitter. So I have some gold glitter here um, to so that will set in the carvings and it will look really pretty and uh... once that is done i'll come back to you guys with another update okay hope everyone's doing well till then blessed be